Virgo, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, astronauts. Pick a node. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. Love you too. Virgo, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to use, uh, hear me use terms, excuse me, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, heifer. Pay it no mind. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Virgo, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you, thank you, and thank you again. Absolutely. Okay, um, coming into your energy, definitely picking up on opposites, you know, um, it's like something or someone I love is getting on my nerves. Love you, but you're getting on my nerves at the same time, you know, um, there's a sense of I'm willing to do what it takes to be happy, and then there's a sense of, I ain't doing nothing, I deserve this, you know? It, 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 I get it, but it, it's still two different types of energy, okay? I'm pulling from the Divine Animal Spirit Oracle. We'll see what's going on here. But you're definitely coming in on a seesaw. Highs and lows, good and bad, you know? I don't know if you're weighing things out in life. Can I have Virgo, please? Ah, we have the Orca. I love these cards. Look at that, so pretty. Isn't that pretty? All right, Um, for the numerology people, the Orca is number 30. Actually, it talks about, um, it reads here, song lines, okay? Clear communication especially with those you love, especially with those who um, have expectations of you or who you have expectations of, okay? This is a time to be very direct with your communication, even if your position is, like I said, on the fence, you know? Just say that. I'm not sure. Sometimes I feel like a nut. Sometimes I don't, you know? Sometimes I like you. Sometimes you get on my nerves. It, 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 be honest, okay? The snake is coming in. You know, this is an energy of a new beginning, okay? It's an energy of, <clears throat> excuse me, creation, you know? And Virgo, going into any type of new energy, especially energy, creation energy is a new energy because it's fertile, you know? You want to be honest, okay? It's time to really get rid of the old and embrace the new, whatever that is. But that means that you have to be honest with what you want, okay? The red fox is coming in behind this, which is an energy of strategy, figuring out how to get this to balance better. How do I make this work? How do I work this out? And there's your happiness so that I can be happy. Because ultimately, I think this is what this is all about, your happiness, but the happiness is coming in with a little bit of ego or a little bit of audacity or a little bit of expectation, you know, at the same time. So it's kind of weird, you know? I think that you're in a position that's very authoritative, that if you say what you want, you're like, if you're a boss, tell your employees exactly what to do, give them details, even though you may feel like they should know. Um, give them the details. That way there's no room for misunderstanding, okay? Let's do your spread. We're using light sears today for your spread. See if we can get some meat and potatoes of this energy. But um, this is one of those situations where I'm sure you've heard the saying, a closed mouth doesn't get fed, you know? If you feel like your needs aren't being met, just make sure you've communicated them very clearly before you act on the the feeling of, you know, deprivation, okay? 
Can I have Virgo? And there's the death and rebirth. Yeah, you're in transition. So maybe you are feeling both at the same time and you're trying to figure it out yourself. Page of Swords, you know? Be, just be honest about that. You can't know what you don't know. You know, I mean, what I feel today, I, tomorrow might be something completely different, okay? And we all have moments like that. You're in transition, um, and just be okay with this process. Crown this energy, please, because it will settle down once it's complete. Scorpion energy, by the way, with the death and rebirth. Here's the Knight of Swords, the communication, and here's the King of Wands coming in reverse. How can this help you? Communicate, but be kind, okay? The King of Wands can be a little aggressive. I mean, you see the lion right there with the king. So don't be too forceful, you know? Don't be too loud, but speak clearly, okay? Seven of Pentacles with this. Use discernment. Make sure you're also speaking on things worthy of speaking on. Okay? What's working against Virgo right now? The Seven of Cups and the Boomstick. Oh my goodness, it's a limp noodle. Oh, what am I going to... Oh, and the Ace of Cups is with... Oh, Virgo. Okay. You know, when you're going through a process of death, something is ending, something is closing, um, it feels horrible sometimes, okay? You have to actually get through the death to get into the rebirth, right? But that transition period, you really, it can be confusing. You're standing there, what's happening to me? I don't even know what's wrong with me. What am I feeling? You know, I feel like, you know, I don't, everything I touch is not working. Nothing is working. Nothing is working. Where's my love? Where's my comfort? Where's my joy? Where's my peace? You know, it's coming in with this. And this is working against you. Thinking like this, it works against you because you have no control over what's happening. You know, right now, it's really just important for you to verbalize how you feel and let it play, let it pass, let it play out, let it complete. There's nothing you're supposed to do, so stop figuring out what you need to do, you know? What's working? I'm sorry, where's this coming from for Virgo? Past energy, please. Ooh, we ain't doing that. And I caught them, too. They right here in my shirt. Ha! Ah. All right. So you've been feeling isolated, separated, misunderstood. because you've been also feeling like you're kind of stuck, you know, but that's not the case. The transition that you're in now is your way out. You might not like it, but it is, okay? It is your way out. You just may not agree with the path that's opening up for you. So you're maybe trying to fight that or create a new path. But it is what it's going to be what it's going to be. Where are we going with this for Virgo? Please and thank you. Future energy. Ah, clarity, understanding. I like that because that's very clear communication. And it's going to hurt somebody. Virgo, I'm smelling a breakup. I'm smelling it. I love you. And there's the lovers. Break up to make up. Maybe you're letting go of a third party so you can focus on your relationship. Remember, third party energy does not mean another person. It could be a car. It could be a, a, a drinks with the, the fellas. It could be hot wings on Sunday with some margaritas. You know what I'm saying? Watching football, whatever it is. Third party energy is energy that you take from um, yourself and give it to something or someone else instead of your partner. That's what third party energy is. And I have to say that it's present in this energy, in this reading, okay? So if you're saying 
with your partner, listen, things are going to change. This is what I want. This is what I expect. Be honest, be clear, and know that, you know, be prepared for what, 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 whatever the consequences are if it doesn't, if it doesn't work out. I'll say it like that. This three of swords tells me that everybody is not coming out of this thing happy. Make sure it's not you. You know what I'm saying? Make sure it's not you. The lovers represents the divine union coming together or divine alignment with your life path. Okay. Three of Pentacles, again, another third party energy. So this does represent teamwork, making the dream work. Maybe you guys go to therapy, you know, but this third party energy, it has to be addressed. If, uh, and it, it needs to be addressed before this cycle closes out. Before this process is completed, um, it has to be on the table. Now, what's coming in for you is I love the emotional maturity. What I don't like is that you still feel stuck and you're tossing that back and forth. You know, I guess trying to figure out what new you can do to continue on your path, but in a way that's healthy. You understand? And you come up with or what comes into your life is some fire because whenever you're in a funk, and nothing like some fire to change that. Something spontaneous, something fun. You know, the Knight of Wands is a go, go, let's go. You know, let's try it. Let's see it. You know, it's a very spontaneous energy. It's not an energy that's long lasting, but it does sometimes get the get the ball rolling. Okay. So you may come into this energy or run into this energy in some way, but it does, you know, spark your emotions a little bit, page of cups letting you feel a little better, you know, might even have an apology or two for somebody. It doesn't matter to me. Whatever it does, it makes you stronger. Okay. It does make you stronger. Whereas though you may have, or someone may have should have, would have, could is about you. The lesson that's coming out of this is if I want victory and success, I have to see it through. You know, the six of wands is a celebratory energy of victory and success. However, this is the Super Bowl parade. That means that you've completed the season, you've completed the playoffs, you won the Super Bowl. There was a whole bunch of stuff that had to be completed first before you take this victory lap. You understand? But if you can get to this point, then you get back to yourself. King of Pentacles here. Good foundation. You know, good grounding, working on home or work or business or your marriage. What, look at this beautiful king and queen right here. And it's abundant. Nine of Pentacles right here. Hold on, Virgo. My PayPal link is under the About tab of my channel. Hello. God bless you because your hard work is about to pay off beautifully in your personal life, in your family life, and um, your financial. Yes, beautifully. Even with your uh, relationships, okay? Somebody is really getting left out in the cold here. I have to say that Nine of Swords with the Five of Wands. Um, this actually feels like family. Yeah, I don't know if family is going to be ostracized or... Hmm. It's almost like like you 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 come out on top, you work things out, and somebody is not happy and they're trying to basically spread their misery, you know. But you maintain control. Emperor is here, you're still the boss, and you tell it like it is with the King of Swords. You tell the truth of what it is. That's all it can be. Empress energy is here, embodying all four queens, creation energy, fertile energy happiness and success. This is a great reading. There's great growth here. Okay. And you're really going to, out of this cycle here, you're really going to start to see how, when, where things have not just hurt you, but hurt life around you. And you'll be able to end it before the damage is too, too much to repair. You know what I'm saying? so that you can still have get togethers that are still good. You know, like just because you, yeah, we're beefing, but we're still family, you know what I mean? And that's important to you. That, that's what I feel in this energy. It's important to you. Now, family doesn't have to always be blood, you know, cause we, we've 
in our lives, I'm sure, had connections where blood didn't make the difference. We had family, you know? And so it is, you know, I know that's how I feel what you have coming out of that, okay? And somebody at your job might be demoted, getting ready to get demoted. Yeah. Um, yeah, somebody at your job might be getting ready to get demoted. This is not the time to mess up. Make sure you're on time. Make sure your work is done to completion. Um, you know, don't drop the ball right now. Okay, because you're really in a great alignment to receive what they're losing. It's up to you whether or not you want to take it because it doesn't look to me like it's almost like, you know, going from, I don't know, hourly to sour, 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 sourly. Oh, help me with my words, Lord. You can don't do this to me now. Salary, salary, going from hourly to salary is not always a smart move. You know what I'm saying? So use discernment. Make sure you do what's best for you, your family, the, the lifestyle you're trying to lead. If you need just the title to get another job with that title, it would be a good move. If you're just looking for more money and you don't care about the title because you're going to stay at that company or whatever the case is, then you know, it it would be offered, but you might wait for another, you know, because your intuition is telling you that you got something else going on anyway. So um, either way, just keep your nose clean, okay? Keep your nose clean. But this has to run its course. Don't feel like it's something you're doing wrong or something that you can't do or something you're supposed to do. There's nothing you can do about this. Right now, you just want to be very clear in your communication and let this run its course, okay? All right, I hope it helps. Now, if any event you say, Green Eyes, listen, I haven't even heard from you in a while. I don't know what's up with you. I'm okay with that. Guys, I've had some bad news from the East Coast. I lost someone really dear to me, and it affected me. I ain't gonna lie. Um, tremendously, Okay. Um, but here we are, we're still living life and, um, we got things to do. So let's, uh, I'm going to try my best to keep them, get them done. All right. Thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you guys are notified of future readings. It's free and it does support the channel. Remember, we are all perfectly imperfect and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.